Yeah, uh, I said to Savannah, can, can, is she any good, Chantel? She says, oh, yeah, she can buy. She's really, yeah. really, really good. They're good mates, them two. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens with that. But Sandy Ryan's uh, trainer, Clifton Mitchell, uh, manager, uh, they're like going to try and keep Sandy's name out there and keep, keep her interested because there ain't that many fighters in their division and and it's it, and now they've had a bit of beef people are going to look to see that fight happen now you know Chantel against Sandy Ryan yeah. Sandy gets Sandy gets another win they might put they might put them together Max and if they do put them together that'd be a good fight they've got a bit of intense beef there but I I think maybe Sandy Ryan's took a gamble fighting that experience last that for Reyes she's had a lot of fight She's only lost in good company. And I think that maybe when I seen it matched, I thought, oh, they're rolling dice on her ear. Maybe they might be just rushing her a little bit. But I thought if it goes to points, she'll get the decision. It went to points, and I don't know where they had it as a split decision to you. <laughs> I know. It, the, 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 bit, the judging all night has been shoddy. You know, when we're talking about shoddy. Like, mm. Oh, my, my God. I mean, Russ, look at the main card. Right, what I mean, Conlin was a point ahead in like round 11, as in he was one point ahead throughout the fight. I thought it'd be at least four or five points ahead. Um, I thought Mark and Colin was you know, it was schooling him, Lee Wood. No offense to Lee Woods, but yeah, they had him a point ahead, and I was thinking, what are they watching? So, really, you know, what I mean, I just think to myself, that needs to be investigating there. Interesting. Well, Terry Harper got a win. Uh, I noticed that uh, Steffi was doing all interviews and that. I want to see more interviews from Terry Harper, mainly because I want to hear from the fighter. That's that's what I want. I don't want to hear from... Uh, I don't want to see trainers. And Ray Doyle's trainer, for starters. Not Steffi. Ray Doyle is the trainer. Everybody in the area around here knows that Ray Doyle trains Terry Harper. But Steffi is the talker, and he's the he's brains at outfit, isn't he? <laughs> but they have done well matching matching uh, Terry and that. And if they feel moving her up away, it's the best thing for her. Fair enough. But what's going to happen when she comes up against the puncher, or is she not going to fight a puncher? Are they just going to keep throwing her on shows and padding a record out, or are we going to see her step up? It's going to be interesting moving forward. To see, I, I, I mean, I mean, to be honest, Russ. Looking at Terry Harper, I think that last fight, I think she can deal with that. But I just think she had so much inactivity. Um, it just threw her right in the fire pit straight away. I just felt she had a fight before that to get herself ready for something like that. You know what I mean? It, I think she would have dealt with it better. You know what I'm saying? I just think she was thrown in the deep end too early, too soon due to the inactivity. I think she can deal with that, personally. Yeah. Yeah. I think act inactivity played a massive part, you know, because if you don't do so, you know, if you say if you don't do so for ages, you're not as good as it, or you're you're rusted, very rust. And she wasn't as crisp in a lot of her punches. I, and I just thought she was not enough venom. Like that night uh, in Nottingham, there was a lot of venom by her, and I felt she was a lot sharper, crisper. And I just think to myself, well, if that was the same Terry turned up for that, she would have done better. You know what I mean? And I think that's inactivity, personally. Yeah, yeah, I do think so. Maybe, maybe, but uh, she's still got that same style, Terry, aren't she? Where she like gets on a bike and that, aren't she, and fights on the outside, and yeah, she got scores with a jab and then stays out of that way, aren't she? Tries to pinch the round, running clock down. It's only a two minute round. <laughs> You know, yeah. there might be a couple of clinches, then she's back on the bike and fainting and in and out, but not really doing anything. The clock's ticking away. And it ain't a style that you, you'd pay to go and watch, is it really? It's not... Uh... No, no. Don't tell Cameron you'd pay to go see her and Sam Allen Marshall. Because oh, they, yeah. they want to take you out, don't they? And knock you out and, that and bring it. Yeah. Whereas Terry's a bit like a bit negative style. It's a bit... <laughs> Bit Ben Davidsonish in it, in it really, and it's not. Yeah, you've got these people have to remember we're in the entertainment business, aren't we? Do you know mm. what I mean? So it's going to be interesting to see what what's 
going to happen moving forward. Uh, Joe Gallagher's fighter, uh, Callum Johnson, uh, his world title were, were obviously cancelled, wasn't it? Because he yeah. got uh, COVID, did he, or something? Or? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, do, do, do you see him fighting again this year? I hope so, because uh, he, he needs to get out. He needs to get out, doesn't he? I mean, you know, he's... Oh, Joe's got so many fighters, isn't he? He's got so many, like, belts up there. He's he's, he's clearing up, isn't he, really, Joe? What do you think? Joe, Joe Gallagher's had 60... One champions from area belt to or what's the world title and he's 61. Has he had 15 or 16? Is it Joe? If you're watching, you might have to correct me, but I was trying to count them up last night. Is it 16 British champions you've got? Or, or will Mark Efron, when Mark Efron fights for a British title this year, he will fight for it this year if he wins his next fight. Is that Joe Gallagher's 16th British champion? And if so, I think that's a record in it, really, for, for a trainer from the UK, isn't it? it would, is. it would it be would he be more decorated than Ingalls? Yeah, yeah, but a lot, a lot, yeah, a lot more decorated. Yeah, more champions. Uh, I think he's had more world champions than Brendan as well. I think he's had Sorry. one more, one more world champion. Uh, so it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I mean, Dennis has had a few world champions, only Carl Thompson, Clinton Woods, Ricky Hatton, Jamie McDonald. I think Dennis has had four. Uh, I'm not sure if Silky Jones was something to do with Dennis. I don't think he were, although Dennis might have had him on one at shows, but I don't think he was world champion though. I think that I think Dennis has had four world champions, yeah. Carl Thompson, Ricky Hatton. Yeah, he had David Day at the beginning, but David Day went with him when he won the world title. So, so yeah, he's had more will, but they, that's not as a trainer, that's as a promoter. So, yeah, I yeah. think Joe Gallagher's the most decorated trainer in British boxing history. He's the only Ring Magazine uh, trainer at year, isn't he? You see, that's another thing. Joe Gallagher got that, didn't he, in 2014. After 21 years as a trainer, or 2015, 2014, 2015, yeah, 2014, 2015, no, 2015. So it took Joe Gallagher 22 years to win the Ring Magazine trainer. Yeah. Ben Davison comes along. He has he has that performance against Wilder in the first fight where Tyson got dropped twice away from home. Yeah. But he, he, he were bigging himself up and whispering in all the right ears that he should be the ring trainer of the year. But yeah, what, what had he done really? What had he done really? He'd, he'd been in the game two minutes. You have to put your graft in, don't you? You can't just gate crash it and get that award. That's a bit crazy if you ask me. But I think Joe's the only one that's won it. I think Peter Fury were running up that year when Joe won it. It's, a, it's an interesting one, but he's, he's the top top draw. And it's amazing how Joe Gallagher doesn't seem to get Dylan White, Joshua. He doesn't he, he don't get any favours from Eddie Earn, does he? There's no dropped on his lap. You never see Joe Gallagher with an Olympian, do you? Wait, no, don't you think he... Jonas. I'm, I'm on about gold medalists. Yeah. He never seems to get the cream of the crop. He's had Olympians, but we're talking about the cream of the crops, aren't we? You had Callum Smith from Eddie Earn, fair enough. Yeah. Beefy, Natasha Jonas, Crawler, Quig. They're his five world champions, aren't they? So he's do, done he's done well. Do, do you think do you think Joe Gallagher? Because he's like obviously he promotes and he's a manager, he's trying and he's all he's he's self-sufficient. He doesn't have to rely on other people. That do you think that's like plays a big part for him? Yeah, of course he does. Yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't. He don't, he's a wealthy man in his own right. He doesn't need to hula hoop anybody, does he? That's what I mean. Yeah, he doesn't give a crap, does he? We've got so, brand, brand new Porsche four wheel drive outside, Jim. He must be doing something right. That's so, so what I mean. So, but like, you look, go back to Ben Davison. How many trainers can you count you would put above him? Now, count them Joe Gallagher, Dominic yeah. Ingle. Yeah. That's two. Tony Borg, three. Yeah. 
Chris Smedley on sheer experience, four. Yeah. Glyn Rhodes, five. John Fuke, six. Richard Towers, seven. Uh, Robert McCracken, eight. Max McCracken, nine. Tony Sims, ten. There's ten trainers there. That, that, uh, Mark Tibbs. Mark Tibbs, 11. Peter Shane Fury, McGuigan. 12. Shane McGuigan, 13. You put Pat all Barrett. them... Pat Barrett. You, Pat Barrett won my tip this year. For trainer, for trainer at year. He didn't get it, did he? Because Pat Barrett's not one of them that's going to be kissing everybody's ass, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's not short of a few quid. He, he ain't bothered what people think. You know what I mean? I'd say he, even Dave Coldwell, even better than him. It pains me to say it. No, he should go on ability. Dave Coldwell's a good trainer. Forget so the fact that you know, he don't get on with people that we get on with, Chris Smedley. Dave Caldwell's a good trainer and he's put he's paid his dues. So we we have we have to give him we have to give him credit. And and obviously he's had a leg up leg up of it years. And I said Dave Caldwell will be judged when he does something with somebody from scratch. Now it looks like he's doing really good with Jordan Gill and Opie Price, but Jordan Gill's already been beat once, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. But people lose and they have a bad day at the office. I come here some days and I have a bad day at the office and I feel like just taking a baseball bat to, the, to, to all this thing and just smashing it in, into smithereens. And other days I come here and I feel like I'm having, a, I'm having a good day. So we all have good days and bad days. But when you're a boxer, if you have a bad day, you get slated on social media and you get a trip to hospital and it's not nice. And your trainer gets hammered as well, doesn't he? But yeah. Dave Caldwell, we have to give him credit. He's doing well with Jordan Gill and Opie Price. And he'll be judged on that, not getting Tony Bellew on his lap, or we're already a British champion, or Pricey on his lap with British champion. David Price got, got knocked out on Caldwell's shift. Do you, do you know what I mean? So we'll, we'll judge him yeah. and see, we'll see what he does with Opie Price and Jordan Gill. If Opie Price don't win a world title now, Dave Caldwell has got to hope that he does something with Opie Price, because if not, he's just, just going to be the guy that he's known as Eddie Hearn's go-to guy. Oh, I'm signing so-and-so. I want you to go train me. I want, you to, I want Dave Caldwell to train you. He's going to be known as Eddie Hearn's go-to guy who can plug holes in the wall where there's a leak. Can you train this yeah. guy? And instead of doing something himself, and building something himself. And this is not a criticism. I'm stating facts. He's had everything yeah. on, on, a, on his lap. Yeah. You know, Eddie Lamb's a good trainer as well. Eddie Lamb. You know, there's trainers down south. Martin Bowers, he's a good trainer as well. These are people that are not on IFL, hula hooping everybody every two seconds. Yeah. You know, I mean, we used to turn our, we used to turn. Our TVs up on, didn't we, Max? Me and you at our different hours, and we text each other. You turn your internet on, you'd have the Dave Caldwell Sunday sermon, IFL, boxing social, behind the gloves, seconds out, fight eye. And then the following week, you'd have the same thing again, wouldn't you? Yeah. Going through yeah. pandemic, and it just got repetitive all the time. And Ben Davidson as well. And this is how they rub people up the wrong way. Because they're saturating the internet with their opinions. Yeah. You know what I mean? And truth be known, what has Dave Caldwell done with anybody from debut? And what has Ben Davidson done with anybody from a debut? They've not done anything yet, have they? They're the go-to guys for MTK and Eddie Hearn. The yeah. bad fighters dropped on their lap. Your Pat Barrett's and them, they're having to develop kids, aren't they? Like Brian Hughes. See where I'm coming from? They're not yeah, getting yeah. them on the lot. Ingles have, de have developed fighters, haven't they? Yeah. Glyn Rhodes has. Do you, do, you, do you see where I'm coming from? They've had them on Adam Boobas. They've not had them on their lap like Caldwell mm. and boxer size Ben Davidson. Yeah. They've had them on the lap. Let's judge Ben Davidson when he does something with somebody from scratch. And then we can judge him. We can't say he's best trainer. I mean, that guy's come out. What's he called? Barry the Bacon. 
He's been around boxing years. He's come out and said Ben Davies was probably the best trainer in the world at the moment. And he should be knighted, should be knighted. Did you see that thing? Oh, Jesus. Do you know what I mean? What, what, well, they must have been talking about it for him to go out and talk about it. They must have been talking about it for Barry the Bacon Smith to come out and say, Ben's best trainer in the world. Fuck out of here. Coming out with statements like that. It's not it's Peter, Fury, Peter Fury said. <coughs> it's not about wanting to be the best trainer and puffing our chests out and I'm the best. And It's about the fighter. It's not about the trainer and it certainly isn't about the number two who carries a spit bucket, is it? No. Do we see number two? How many of number twos do you see coming out taking control of press conferences like he was doing? They're having the moment in the sun, aren't they? But it's overkill. Well, Ben Davidson, can you imagine if he lost that against Mark Collin? Can you imagine what would happen? Well, that's why they were jumping up and down and bring it in, didn't it? Save the skin, Matt. That, that last well, round. Lee, Lee, the... well, Lee would save the skin, didn't he, that night? And, and he and John Lewis saved the skin when Taylor fought Castle because let's have it right, that's probably the worst decision that the UK has ever seen. So for Robert Smith to say it was a close decision, it could have gone either way. To now say, Ian John Lewis, we're going to demote you, that means that Robert Smith got it wrong. He got it wrong. He got yeah. it wrong, man. He came out to defend. Robert Smith came out to defend. Me and John Lewis. And it backfired, Marx. It yeah. backfired because there was that much pressure, there was that much heat put on him from Big P. <laughs> Who's the fucking daddy? There was that much heat put on him from Big P and all the porky all the porky followers that the is well, we know what I did, don't we? I said, look, Robert Smith, I'm gonna make you kneel before me. And if you do, I will spare you next time I see you. And I won't throw my pint of Stella and black currant all over you. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> okay, do you, do you think when, when they've demoted Ian John Lewis, see, this is the thing that gets me. They're admitting they're wrong by doing that. They admit they're wrong. So what they've got to do is bloody overturn the decision, surely. You can't just do what? You go halfway. Oh, actually, it's like building a house. Right, and I, I've built the lounge, I've built, you know, I've built the toilet downstairs, I've built the kitchen. Oh, I'm not going to bother building the rest, so keep it to a bungalow. You can't just stop halfway, you build the full, do the whole fucking same here. They admit they're wrong, overturn the fucking decision because Jack has been robbed. And I know it doesn't make it better, but at least it's like it'll be a milestone in boxing. But they've done that just because the police got involved. If the police didn't get involved, right, they wouldn't have done that. They, what, they didn't want the police sniffing about, did they? Because what would have happened is this. Right. First thing, if there's an investigation like that, first thing to do, the police, they're going to arrest all of them. They'll arrest all the judges, Robert Smith, Charlie Giles. They'll arrest them and they'll set the phones and the computers. Yeah. They'll interview them. They'll all, go no com they'll all go no comment. Then they'll bail them to come back in six weeks. Once they've had all their tech people look at all the computers and the phones and that, and then they'll then they'll, they'll find out then if they're getting charged. And in that period of time, if they have done all wrong and they are corrupt, one or two of them will come forward, I think, and will squeal. So Robert Smith acted very quickly, didn't he? And he wanted a solution that helps all of them. That's my opinion. I might be wrong, but. Come on. Well, if it ain't corruption, it's a massive scale of incompetence because they are not competent. None of them A stars are. It's week in, week out. I mean, you've got Ben Davison leaning through ropes like that in the middle of Lee Wood fight. Did you see it? You know, yeah, I, I said to our lass, I said to our lass, he ain't allowed to do that. He continuously does it every fight. Does it this every is MTK fight. and nobody's going to say no to him. I'm just all shit scared of MTK. Yeah. So, does it every fight? You know what I mean? And it's just, it's all about him, isn't it? And, and you know what? You know, them doing this and keeping everyone happy. I think 
I mean, what what was the so obviously he's gone from A, he's gone Ian John Lewis has gone from A to B judge here, and what does Jack Cattrall get? And a re and not a rematch, but he gets a chance for all the belts again in another fight against someone else. Is that right? Jack Cattrall, like I said now, said he'll step up and he'll fight. He'll fight Ben Davidson at one four seven, but there's not going to be a belt, is there? At that, so you mean hey. the the best thing, pardon. You mean Josh Taylor? Sorry, sorry, sorry. John, Catchell's saying he'll step up and he'll fight Josh Taylor. The point I want to make is, couldn't Josh Taylor, because he got a gift on the night, couldn't he just come out and say, you know what? I'm going to get a better nutritionist. Because he passed all check weigh-ins and he said there were no problem at the weigh-in. I made it a piece of piss. After the, after the fight, he's saying, oh, I don't want to fight her that way again. Why didn't Josh Taylor say, do you know what? Jack Cattrall, he fought his heart out. He beat me. It's going to kill me, but I'm going to have a go and make him that weight again. And I'm going to fight Jack Cattrall again at 140 pounds for the undisputed. If he'd have done that, Josh Taylor, he would have gone up so far in everybody's opinion of him as a man. And Kinahan come out and he did an interview with James English and James English premiered it and then it got pulled didn't it right did you see right. it Daniel no, it. it's been pulled hasn't it from James English should have just put that video out you don't need to premiere them waiting for the plaque or trying to hype it just put it out it'll soon spread like wildfire yeah what I want to make yeah. is if Kinahan's the advisor to Jack Cattrall and Josh Taylor why didn't Kinahan just say Josh you've got to fight him again for, to, for sake of boxing why don't somebody just take charge of the situation like Kinahan, who's supposed to be pulling all the strings behind the scenes and advising people? Why didn't you just say, Josh, just fight him again. Just do it one more time and then you're done at that weight. you just got to do it one more time. Whatever you did wrong in that camp, you've just got to do it right this time. I'll just do it one more time and put it to bed for the sake of boxing. boxing because Jack yeah. Cattrall's a world champion in the making, but... He'll never get an opportunity to fight for all the belts again. And it's so wrong. It's so, yeah. so wrong on that many that many avenues mm. leading into this. It, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And when Jack Cattrall puts his head down on pillow at night, he'll think about that every day till he dies. Yeah. Mm. But, but no, no, well, I mean, look, he's got, so, but hasn't he got the opportunity to fight for all the belts again, though, against someone else? No, he's now a mandatory across the board. They're putting it to these organisations that they recommend his mandatory. It doesn't mean he is, though. Some of them might say, yeah, you're mandatory, might, WBO might say. I don't know which one, but not all of them are going to say he's mandatory, are they? All the belts are not just going to... They're not going to let all them belts be vacant and then... Two men fight for all of them, are they? It doesn't work like that, does it? No. You know what I mean, Yeah, it it might never happen again. It only happens once in 25 years, doesn't it? Or (laughs) it's very rare that you get them all. It took three years for them belts to all get like that. And Cattle waited his turn, did the business, and he got robbed. It's so wrong what happened. And everybody who's seen it knows it's wrong. And... The board should reverse the decision. We should have an independent yeah. judges and score it again accordingly. So you should get five judges in a room and say score that fight. It's quite funny how Frank has got all American judges for Tyson Fury and Dylan White. He does right, doesn't it? Be, he does right, doesn't he? Because Tyson Fury is not a boxing border control license holder, and they might want to shaft him. They've got a long memory of that boxing board of control. Yeah. Look what, happened, look what happened when I went for my seconds license. The, 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 that Les Potts held a grudge with me, didn't he? But I won't bother. I told him what I thought. You know, Les, you cocksucker. <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ex chief of police at Sheffield. Yeah, like they're going to want me with a seconds license when I've got a section 18 on a sergeant on my record. You know what I mean? They're not going to, not going to, not going to allow it, are they? But I'm talking about that now. I'm over it now. At the time, I was enraging. 
all the way to an hotel in Bradford on a Sunday morning. They were like, <coughs> going, up, like going up in front of headmaster. Shocking. You wouldn't have got a license being associated with my channel, Max. They kept you wouldn't have done that. Hey? Put me interview back. They kept putting my interview back four times before I got a slip Did you get your one. refund? No. Why not? Well, you, you, you're in time. How much was it? Uh, 100, it's 160 quid. You're, you're, you're entitled to that, you know. You're yeah, entitled to so They tried it with me, with mine, you know. I got I got Celia on the job and then they had to pay me. You need to get on it for your money back. Sent, they sent me my license back and everything. They didn't give me a refund. Why not, though? Because why? Oh, I've, I've emailed them. Still waiting to reply. Utter shit houses, border control, aren't they? Robbers. That's all they are, mate. Robbers, mate. Nobody's got, nobody respects them, you know, it shows. Hmm. They strut about. It's the only sport where the lions are afraid of the rats. The boxers are the lions, aren't they? Because they get in yeah, the yeah. ring. They deserve more respect than everybody, than anybody. All the boxers, they're the lions. And then we've got these, Robert Smith, Charlie Giles, Les Potts. They're the rats. And don't forget yeah. Les Potts has handed a lot, lot of career criminals up in Sheffield and got on 15s and 12s and 18 stretches and all sorts. Yeah. They're the rats. And everybody's scared of them because they don't want to upset them. Why? Why, when, why, why do we have to be frightened of these people? They're just human beings who are on a power trip. They're old, insecure men in the 70s that are human beings. So why should we give a, give a shit about them? Why can't we have uh, new people brought in, younger people, and people in the 30s yeah. and 40s? Why can't they be running boxing border control? Why does it have to be this lot? Because if I were to sit Robert Smith down on a programme like Newsnight or something like that, and I were presenter, I'd say, uh, Robert, uh, you've been at the, the, uh, the helm of the ship for the British Boxing Board of Control for uh, so many decades or whatever. What would you, what mark would you give yourself, Robert, out of 10 for what you've done for the Boxing Board of Control since you've been running it, since you've been the top dog? What mark would you give yourself out of 10? What mark would you give him? I'd give him a fucking zero, mate. Zero. Yeah. Two or three. Them. Look at them. It's two like or three. Them. Yeah. Don't like yeah. them, mate. I don't like them. The hand finds out willy-nilly. The hand finds out willy-nilly. And if you're not flavour at mum, you haven't got a chance with them, mate. You know the only thing I've noticed about the boxing board of control? How you can... Stand up to them. You do what Dennis did. When the boxing board of control suspended Dennis's promoter's license because he said that I made an illegal approach to Gavin McDonald for a Josh a fight with Josh Whale. When it was Gavin that we were, were doing the the we were texting Dennis, saying, Have you got any featherweights I can beat up then? What the day that we signed Josh Whale? So Dennis got his lawyer on him and said, You can't fucking just uh, suspend my license. Just because there's something like Russell's done. Russell's not got a, a laminate. I didn't have a board license. I want a license holder. So Dennis set his lawyers on him and says, No, I won't be going to that meeting. And lawyers set about them. And they had to back down and they don't like that. Because Dennis, Dennis uh, stands up. Dennis stands up and he listen, but Dennis don't mess about. Dennis goes all the all the way, mate. I mean, he's had some right battles with lawyers in boxing. He's, then it's Eugene Maloney sued. So Dennis for 10 grand, Dennis went get fucked, went all the way, cost him 150. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, lost, so made, made a bad decision, didn't he? But he, he stands his corner. He's not going to let anybody bully him, Dennis. He, he won't have that. He won't put with that. You know, he's yeah. been at it with Warren, with lawyers and that. Uh, I think Dennis and Frank Warren flipped a coin for 50 grand years ago. That's a true yeah. story. It's on my channel, anyway. If you, I think... I, I think that's on my channel about two and a half years ago, that story. The coin toss with Frank Warren. Uh, Dennis were owed money off Warren and uh, he pulled him about it and said, well, why don't we flip it, coin? And uh, you owe me 50 grand if uh, if I win coin toss. And if you win it, 25's gone. And the flip coin. 
and uh, Warren uh, won the coin toss. <laughs> oh, I'd love to have seen Dennis's face. <laughs> but no, that's just the type of guy Dennis is. He likes uh, he likes to gamble, he likes to punt, but he won't let anybody take fucking liberties with him. No, no. No, well, he fucking hell is like, no. No. Unless it's me, I tend to get fucked. <laughs> So what are you going to do, Ron? Put me on a ticket deal. A big Ron yeah. ticket deal. <laughs> a Perry yeah. Howell ticket. A Perry Howell ticket deal. I was going to ask you, Max. Uh, who's Dennis Scott? Who you'd, who, you'd, who you'd fight, Max? Who's he got? Who, who you feel like punching in? Perry Howell. Is that just it? Reason... Perry Howell? No, Perry Howell is the reason why I got my pro licence in the first place. He's the reason. You know what I mean? Because... He's like, say, I'll get you, get, turn pro and I'll fight you. And ever since then, I've heard a call from him. But heard from now, off who? Perry L. Nothing. Oh, yeah. Not a dicky bed. Since I've turned pro, nothing. And I was thinking, fucking hell, what do I do now? My life's over now. Perry L. not in my life, you know. But, you know, it's, it's just surprising. People shut the mouth off when it dooms on their door. You don't Max, want it. Do I don't feel what's it. Do you know if you fought Perry L. Do you know who could yeah. sponsor the fight? Bras, women's bras. Could get a bra bra label to sponsor sponsor you and Perry. Well, I've seen you, I've seen photos of you, you showed me where you've been in good shape, where you got like stuck into your training and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then other times I don't know where your brain's at. You just rate fridge, don't you, for a few weeks? Uh, so lockdown. It's get, I'm getting back, I'm getting back to it now. I'm getting, doing it. So. You're getting back, Max. Yeah, get it back, get it back. So, Big shout out to Matthew Stevens, the professional snooker player. How are you doing, Matthew? Hope you're well. Uh, send me, sending me your best. Good luck in your next tournament. Thanks for getting in touch. Uh, he's a big fan of yours, Max. He wishes you all the best. Matthew wishes you all the best. Yeah, Matthew. That's nice of him. That's nice of him. Thank you. After Thank you for that. Game, I'll give you a game of snooker, Matthew. Uh, uh, when you come up to Sheffield, get in touch with me. When you come up to Sheffield, and uh, I'll come and treat you. I'll take you for a game of snooker. Ear flog, yeah. He probably will. He probably will. I might, <laughs> I might, I might be able to. I might, I might be able to hang with him in a best of five for a, probably a, a four-one loss or something. <laughs> Do you think you'd beat him on a thirty break? If you give me a thirty star, yeah, I think I. I might nick a frame off him with a 30 start. Yeah, I might do. <laughs> might not as well. Like, it's like me, you, you, isn't it? That's between you two. You've never won a frame oh. against me, Max, have you? I was close once. Close. Hmm. I was close. Close. I was frustrating you. I was frustrating you by snookering you. I was trying to do that, and you were pissing you off. You got that stuck in... You, you, were, you were like you were getting off on snookering me, Max, constantly. Trying to disrupt the game. You are the Diego Simone of snooker match. You're just trying to frustrate the opposition. Yeah, absolutely. Like they did to Man United the other night. Same thing they did to Liverpool. They just chucked themselves on the floor, don't they? And spoiled. Did you watch it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what team yeah. do you support, Mark? Southampton. So, oh yeah, because you used to live down there, didn't you? Yeah, I was born and bred there, weren't I originally? So, mm. yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens moving forward. Right then, we'll finish off on this, Max. Does Dylan White fight the Gypsy King? Yeah. Right. Does Big Dean John White, Fury... Dean, sorry, sorry, Dean White, sorry, Dean White told me in person. Right. Yes. Does Big John Fury, big fighting man, in the ring or on the hard road? And I'm willing to prove it for free or for money. Pop, pop, bang! End of book. Does John Fury, the man that can do a 200 kilo deadlift with a Corey, can does uh, does John Fury fight on the undercard? No, like he doesn't fight Mickey Theo. His ass fell out. Yeah. Does Mickey Theo ever have a fight on YouTube? No. No. All right. Okay then, uh, does Savannah Marshall fight Clarissa Shields this <coughs> year, Max? Yeah. I think it happens. End of this year, it'd be like end of November. I can do it last minute. Right. 
you know. Okay, okay. Does Spencer Fear and ever get down to 11 stone and come to Sheffield and get at it with me at Chris Medley's gym, yes or no? No, he's, 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 he's afraid of the pork meister and the getting down. <laughs> he's afraid of the pork meister. <laughs> yeah. In the ring, he probably flogs me. But we're going to see, aren't we? Let's see. We've got to make it fair. So if he gets down to my weight, it's only fair, isn't it, Max? Because we've got to have an even... It's got to be even, hasn't it? Well, that's what he was at a pro. So why don't you get down to that weight? You know what I mean? Uh, Spencer, I get down to 11 clam. Come see me. <laughs> Just don't ask me for tips, Spencer. No, ask what? Don't ask me for tips, Spencer. Why? Right, would you would you give him some tips, Max? How to do me? Yeah, Christ. Uh, I think I think it's watching Spencer in his previous fight. Is that Southern Area title against that Walker? Christ, <laughs> he needs some tips. Christ, he only have to whack me in the stomach and have the fucking bent over at the moment, wouldn't I? But exactly. it is what it is. Now, Max, it's we've had. Let's have a look. How long we have, Max? Hour and a half. We've had a good old chat, haven't we? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. put this on YouTube, and then that is, I don't know, it's about 16 videos, 17, I think I've done. But You're going to have to do this as a two-parter, won't you? No, nah, I'll just put this out as a one-parter. It doesn't matter. I don't need to split them up. Uh, we get a fucking bill for that, you know, we're splitting them in half. Really? Yeah, yeah, because if he splits it in half while he's doing it, it's a false economy. Not to stick an intro on it and an ending, so so I might as well let let, let the, the people who follow it have a nice have a ninety minute special. If I wanted to, I could split this into three and it go down as three videos. But yeah, let them have it. Listen, it's eighteenth video of the month today, and I have to do thirty a month, right, to get to, to get all tech bills and all my expenses. We've got to do thirty videos. So this is eighteenth of the month, and it'll go out tonight. And we're on the 17th, so I've got 12 to do in 14 days. So I'm on top of my game, aren't I? Yeah. You know what I mean? mean? What's the thumbnail? What are we going to do thumbnail for this? Go on. I'll just pick one off YouTube and that. Do you want me to pick, do you want me to put one of you? you can make your no, 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 no. I, I, I wanted you to put like, make one. I want, I want you to make a special one. So like get a camera on there and do like a proper one of, like uh, Spencer Fear and Danny Connor at the food bank and getting like food parcels or something. Yeah, because then Spencer will say I'm bullying him. You know what I mean? Spencer don't go there for his food. He's a, he's a chicken, ch ch couple of chicken wings and chips, man, isn't he? Spencer. Oh, is he? I'll probably oh, get yeah. told I'm a racist for saying that, won't I? Oh, well, no, you're right. Racist like when Decker Heggie told you you're racist. For... Decker, what did Decker Heggie say now? He said... <laughs> Porky, uh, what do you think to Billy Joe Saunders? I said, I thought he quit against Canelo. And he said, what about John Fury? I said, I don't think he wants to fight Mickey Fury. I think he's swerving Mickey. And then he said, what have you got against travellers? I said, what? Just because I've mentioned about two... I'm, I've spoke about two travellers. Uh, two seconds. Richard, let me just finish this video with Max and I'll give you a call, mate. Cheers, mate. I was in France, Richard. No, Richard, big Richard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. France. Uh, what were we on about? Oh, Spencer, uh, Decker, wasn't I? Decker, yeah, Decker. Me, I said, Decker, let me... Uh, <coughs> let me... What, what, what were we on about? Then my mind's been gone blank. De De Decker, basically, Decker said... Oh, he racist. said, he said uh, what have you... No, he didn't say I'm a racist. He so said, what have you got against travellers? And I said, Decker, because I've just mentioned John Fury and Billy Joe, does that mean I've got a thing against travellers? It was trying to be controversial, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put that video up, members area, and what I did after that then, I blocked Decker. I ain't got a problem yeah. with him. I just thought I blocked him because I didn't like his negative energy. And that, well, that, I thought that Decker were trying to put put me in a bad, bad light with travellers, with travelling people. So, well, I've spoke about it now and I ain't got a problem with travellers. But I did yeah. think that Billy Joe quit. And I did think that John Fury shot his mouth off about wanting to fight anybody over 50, and he agreed to fight Mickey Fio. So then we moved full steam ahead, me and Mick. Full steam ahead. Uh, we all billboards and, and, and 
social media blitz, put my heart and soul into it for 18 months with Mick, and it never happened. And it went through want to try it. Mick wanted it. I wanted yeah. Mick to fight him. Mick was training his, his arse off for it. And, and I just said that John Fury messes about and that I thought Billy quit. And he's going, what have you got against travellers? <laughs> trying to create, I think Decky were trying to create a bit of controversy. And I thought, whoa, hang on a minute. It's my channel. I'm not having anybody come on my channel and try and turn the tables because I'm, I'm yeah. the one asking the questions, not Decker. So what I did, I blocked him. And, and I've never spoke to him since. But I haven't got anything against Decker. Every time yeah. I turn my telly on, Decker's doing, do, he, he's doing, he's doing loads of videos. It looks to me like they're all going around in circles, all of that, not done it. So it's not for me all that. And I don't want my channel to go like, down the route that theirs has gone. Because what, what is his channel? What is it about? Is it about boxing? Or is it just about him and his ongoing battle? With people who were saying he's a fucking wrong and I don't understand yeah. what it is. But I wish yeah. him all, all the best. He's never done no wrong to me, Decker. So I, and I like to stay out and all that kind of thing. So I wish him all the best. But yeah. if you stay out these days, you get the the what do they call it? The Twitter arty or the uh the 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 YouTube angry pack or whatever. It looks like the fucking I, I personally think it looks like his head's done in, doesn't it? And yeah, I, it is. I, he needs a break, doesn't he, for a bit of fucking hell. Yeah. I couldn't do what he, he does like. I don't, uh, I, can't, I can't carry off like he's, but like I said, I don't know the full ins and outs of it, and I don't fucking want to know, because it's a boring fucking story. But I thought it were all about bare knuckle fighting this channel and that. And now every now and then I have a flick through, and it's fucking, it's about trolls and fucking shit, and... Basically, it's a lot of people hiding behind fucking keyboards running 20 accounts, isn't it? And the, the government need to get a fucking grip of it all, don't they? So that's that's what I think. So if that's the case, you know, it, it, I, I'm all I'm all up for, I'm up for that. Let's let people pay a pound a year to use YouTube and you have to give your bank details. And if anything's said that's bad on that channel, it's down to you. You get into trouble. You get into trouble. You get prosecuted. That's how I look yeah. at it. That, 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 that's the only way around it. You've seen what I wake up to in the morning, haven't you? You've never seen no like that, have you? In your life? No, it's bad. Bad sometimes. Nah. Yeah, really. Yeah. Fucking no fire, man. Especially um, about your kids and stuff like that. Listen, Max. It makes me stronger, though, doesn't it? So I don't talk. I don't talk about it all the time, but so. I've never ever sat shat my pants or started crying. I'm like, wow, wow. Because I look at it like this. Last Sunday I got up. I'll make this quick before I go. Last Sunday I got up and I read something that somebody had sent me. And it were like, if it were A4 paper, it'd be about five of these sheets, both sides, like 10 sides. I yeah. read every single bit of it. And do you know what I thought? There is a lot of scary people in this world. There is some pretty, pretty scary, sick individuals in this world. And you know what I'm going to say? Thank God that we have got fucking lunatic asylums. Because whoever sent me that is a raving lunatic. But the same person told me where I lived and everything. And I've been there two minutes and I thought, well... Why don't you just come and knock on door then and fucking kill us all in our beds? Because it's just chit chat, isn't it? And I just delete it. I don't fucking bother going to. It's like Danny Connor. Yeah, hey, you're gonna go, please. I'm coming to your house. Fucking hell, fire. Just because you're coming to my house, I think I have a little bit more serious things sent to me than you coming to knock at my fucking door. Yeah. I was never heard of me going to fucking law over it. I just, it goes over my head. It's called social media. It's not real life. Yeah. It's not real life. It's people letting the frustrations off. And Decker, they've got him on hook, and they're probably pissing the pants, all them that are having a go at him. They should all just move on and go in the, in the different directions. That's how, yeah. that's how I look at it. It's when a well, universal is fucking used up, they can't help themselves. <laughs> well, that's it. But, you know, as long as they're not bothering me, I'm not bothered. I don't give a shit what they do. But... I need to learn how to work that uh, fire stick I've got on my telly because every time I turn it on and I go on YouTube, 
I get all sorts of fucking channels popping up that I don't want to watch. Yeah. You know, all, all that fucking lot up in North East, they all seem to be beefing. What, what are the channels about? Is it about boxing? Yeah. Is it about fucking being it Nick? I know Steve Rapes is, is, is about uh, Newcastle United and that, but what are all these other channels? I don't, you've got to have, you've got to identify your channel with something, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Our mind's boxing, and, and we, tell it, we have a bit of a laugh and joke on it, on here as well, yeah. about, oh, like you've asked me, to, somebody on Instagram's asked you about what fucking, what, what I've been to the cinema, what, uh, have I ever took a yeah. bird to the cinema? Of course I fucking have. I was sitting back and eat wine gums all night until they were coming out my arsehole. <laughs> I used to go, I'm not getting any wine gums from the cinema, they're too dear. You know, pick and mix. I've got to go to, go to Woolworths beforehand and stock up. <laughs> no, 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 you've got to you've got to have a you've got to have a a concept about what you're going to talk about. Mine's voice of our core boxing. We go over the day's events, the, the weekly events, and we give an opinion of what we think on judges, referees. Drug testing, who's top ten, who should be champion, who's been robbed, blah blah blah. And every now and then we might speak about fucking trolls because trolls and fucking social media is part of his life now. Isn't it? I mean, I do this now, nearly full time now. I mean, apart yeah. from there's all this here to do here, but you know, I can, I, I can, I'm spinning about fucking ten plates at once, and I've got a dog. Do you know what I mean? But uh, yeah. no. I just, now I think Decker Decker should just ignore them all and move on. Move on. Yeah. Move on. Yeah, I wish him all the best. I wish everybody all the best. Do you know what I mean? But I, I, there's people. I mean, just I, I give Paddy Conroy respect because he can't escape from jail. He got a ten stretch. He gets somebody who died and didn't he offer some money or something. He got a ten stretch. He escaped from jail and went on run to Marbella. So. Things like that, I think, are fucking cool. I think people who do things like that, Max, are cool, do you? Yeah, 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 I do. I like that. Sort of I, stuff, yeah. So, so, but I don't, I don't know him personally. You were on, you were on jail circuit when I was doing my sentences, and you know, I've, yeah. heard, I've heard he's a fucking legend up there. Well, good luck to him, but he might not be everybody's cup of tea. There might be people who like me, and then there might be other people who don't like me. We can't let, we can't get everybody to like us. Go on to your likes percentage on your channels. Mine should say 1,620 odd videos. And it'll and the likes thing will be 94% point summit. And the dislikes will be for six percent of summit. I can't that six percent who dislike my videos. What am I supposed to do? I, I can't, the 90 odd, 90 odd percent like them. Yeah, 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 six, yeah. 6.7, is it? 6.7% out of 1,600 yeah. odd videos don't like my videos, but they let it be known. But mm. fucking watching, aren't they? So, yeah, I know, they all watch. So, they were, yeah. so somebody's just had a go at me today. I, your, I turn your fucking videos off the shit. I said, well, no, you don't. Because when I go inside into all analytics and that, you watch until end. So, do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. But what can you do? Yeah. We can't let everybody like us. All you can do is conduct yourself in a, in a decent manner. Yeah. But it's an hard game, but stick, have a, a concept to talk about and stick to it is what I say. But yeah. oh, oh, oh my, I'm not a fucking expert. My, my, my subscribers on this are genuine. I haven't bought none. It's all organic. You know, it's hard work and it's all organic. <laughs> it's organic. Well, it's all genuine, isn't it? We're not like some channels. We seven hundred and odd thousand subscribers, but they're only <laughs> get they're only averaging double views what I do per video per month. So what what are the other seven hundred and thirty thousand fucking doing? What well, what are they? What's the point of having all of subscribers if they're not watching? Yeah. See where I'm coming from, Maxie. Yeah. Austin Maxi. Austin. Are you going out for a job tonight, Max? I've got training with Julian in the morning early, so I've got to get down. I'm going to get some sleep and get rid of this cold, you know. Try and get shake it off. Max, you didn't train this morning and you won't train tomorrow. You'll look for an excuse when you get up in the morning for not to go. I will. I will. Right. I'll text you 
Like you text me, getting in the morning, going down fucking M1 early in the morning, and you, you go. You should owe me a tenner for that. You should owe me a tenner for that. No, nah, no, nah, I don't. I don't. Right? If you remember rightly, you said that Dan, it was twenty quid as well. Oh, right? Matt, so this is what I want to ask you. We're now in the middle of March. How is it? How is it looking for sixteen stone for first of June? Are you sweating? <laughs> is that no, getting? You change it. Yeah, yeah, but you change it all what, the time. Oh, what are the changes? So you'll bet me. Right, right, right. Quid. You, you, you change it. No, you go, oh, you've got to be 15, 13 and all this shit. Mark. Right? You, you always no, change got it. To be, no, well, you would be 15, stone 13. If you're under 11, oh, are you saying you want to be bang on, bang on 16, stone? Yeah. Right, well, yeah. what are you now, Mark? 20? No, less. 19 and a half? Yeah. Right, so you've got three and a half stone to lose in two and a half months. Yeah. Right. Or you have to pay me hundred quid. Hundred quid. Yeah. Right. And if and if and if you do it, I've got to give you hundred quid and that and that red leather jacket, that biker jacket. Yeah. Is that yeah. what you want? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, or well, like things. whatever jacket there is, I like. Ah, just fucking take it. yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing that, Max, because fucking I don't want that red one anyway. <laughs> no, fuck off, please. He changes it, see? You don't ever put a... No, the deal was a red one. I'm not going to fucking let you do it for that fucking sheepskin one that we're a bag of sand. <laughs> fuck off. We raided my wardrobe as well as my fucking fridge, you cunt. Uh, but yeah, that, so there's that. But you, like, you know, you, you, yeah, you change it, you. And no, going back to the original comment, no, wasn't it? It was 20 quid, and you turned around and said, no, actually, in a voice text, and I'll find the fucking voice text. You turned around and said, get something for Olive. Yeah, I did. I did. So so I'll let you off with that. But I'm not going to let you off with the 100 quid, Max. I'm going to punish you. Yeah, there we go, then. Make sure that they're they're in £50 notes. Sam used to get his pay... Yeah, I'll do. I'll put them all in fucking fibers. I'm going to pretend That's to be easy. Mickey Fio with all my 50 quid notes. <laughs> or I'm going to put them all in quid coins and bag them up. There you go. Do what I did to that fucking monster who works at that petrol station who banged me. I snuck in, you know, in my other car, filled it up 80 quid, although it'd be about 150 to fill it up these days. Two quid a gallon, isn't it? Two quid yeah. a litre now. Uh, I snuck in, I walked in and I gave her the exact same money. I went, <coughs> it was something like 80 quid or something, like 78 quid or something, in one peas and two peas and five peas. <laughs> the, the 80 when it's like that. And then I drove off and she went, you can't go, you can't go for calling police. Why? It's pounds sterling in it. You've got my registration. If it's wrong, ring police, but I've counted it. So that's what you need to do if you ever have beef with anybody in the petrol station. Go pay him in one P's and two P's and five P's. I'll be, I'll do, be doing that to you. I'll just put it in my, I'll just put it in my piggy bank. Yeah, there you would. You would be bothered anyway. So stuff like that don't bother you. Max, you haven't put no effort in to get down to it. You know, if you'd have done it and you'd have got down to 16 stone free or something, I'd have gone, fucking hell. He really tried, Kev, you know, so I'm going to give him the 100 quid back because he'll pay me because he's loyal. But you haven't even tried, Max. You're floating about. How do you know I haven't even tried? How do you know? Well, when we were at that petrol station the other day and you went for a piss and you come back with them giant flapjacks. You come back with them giant flapjacks. You come out. You come out some right shite. I've never known anyone come out so much shite. You know exactly what I'll come out. You're exaggerating true for you. Fucking hell. You're like, you'll say, oh, yeah. So that that's a point. That that's like a point or something. You, you would say, I'll come out with something like that and a flat chat like that, not like Max, that. Max, have you have you tried? All right then. Could you could you could you try a bit harder though to lose more weight? Do you think if, yeah. if you look at it, you think you know what? I could be trying a little bit harder here. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. On this, there's certain days where. The, do you know, I make the excuse? The excuse it won't be like tomorrow because I'll be there because I enjoy the the, the work with Julie. I enjoy it, right? And it's therapeutic. 
You like when, the you like the technical work with Julian, but you don't like the cardio, do you? Ian? But it's needed, right? But that's yeah. fine. But the point I'm trying to make is where I slip up. It's when I have Olive for the full weekend and it's hard to get anything like an hour away because she's a demanding kid. That's the only part over a two and a half day period. That's where it's my stumbling part. Apart from that, from then on. watch it tell you all day, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. We're going off doing things, entertaining her because you've got to have that one on one time. That's yeah, the only yeah. time I really slip up. And I've got to be careful of my food. That's where I really. Well, why don't you get? Time. Why don't you get a Tupperware tub? And, and when you're grazing in front of the TV, because I know what you're like. Why don't you have like chopped carrots and and and, and Brazilian nuts and raisins and that in like a tub and some? Instead of sat there with fucking kids broken Easter egg that's been in fridge and that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do you know I tell you, I've done yours straight. I went to Lidl and got those uh, tuna pots. I like them. Yeah, they're all right, them. Yeah, some, they uh, are. Get them. Bit of, bit of chopped salad, get it, pull the thing off, whack it in the middle of the plate, bit of chopped salad in it, and it's a meal and it's eating clean. I've got that off Mickey Pio. Eating yeah. clean, Mick does stuff like that all the time. And, it, and, it, and it's yeah. made in 20 seconds, it's a cold meal, but it's made in 20 seconds. If it's chicken, you throw it in the microwave with, with a bit of noodles, that's done in three minutes. You've got your send a meal, it's eating clean. Yeah. You, yeah. you can You're do right. it, Max, you do know that. Yeah, yeah. Just that you like yeah. you like the all the things that are wrong for you, don't you? And if you I do, yeah. Charge, you like it. to eat, you like to eat what you want, don't you? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. And I'm, no, last, to... I'm last person to give advice like, about what to eat, and that's I don't get much down. But uh, listen, mate, I used to get up in the morning. I'd have four slices of toast. I'd put three bacon, three pieces of bacon on each side, so you've got like twelve pieces of bacon on four toasts. And then I'd get four more toasts and I'd put them on top with HP sauce, low fat butter, stack them all on top of each other, cut them all in half, pint of old, old fucking fat, full fat milk, and I'd just go back to fucking bed and munch on them. That's, what, I, that's what I'd do, mate. Then after that, I'd have a sleep and then I'd get a big sheet of foil out like that, big beetle like John Lennon's head, blowtorch, big funnel like that. <sighs> And then I'd just sit there all day and I'd uh, be on boxing forums all day back in the day. This is before, <laughs> before all YouTube, before I did all this YouTube. I used to call myself Doncaster Boxing and I had an opinion on everything. And I had a bit of a cult following back in the day. That's a true story, that, yeah. But that's what I, that I used to do when I used to live at OK. I was eating myself to an early grave. I was I eating myself to an early grave mainly because. I got in myself into a position where I set a target on what I thought I could retire on at 40. And when I got to, yeah. got to that target, I moved to Oakley. And I said, hey, I'm retired now. And I just ate myself to death for two and a half years. I did, honestly. Yeah. Ate myself yeah. to death. Well, that's not, yeah. that's not good because you've still got another 20, 30 year living in you. I, I yeah. just given up when I got to 40. I <laughs> don't know why, but... But now I want you to eat cleaner. Listen to Julian. And yeah. if anybody gets in touch with uh, you know, offering your fights and that, just give them your email wow. and well, we'll deal with it accordingly. They know where you and are. We'll, we'll get, yeah, and what we'll do, we'll get you into a position, Max, where you're seven and oh, four by way of. And, and then, <laughs> then we'll, we'll feed you to... With uh, footage. With footage, and we'll feed you to uh, Fraser Clark, and I'll take money under the table. <laughs> I'm only joking. I don't want no of your money. Do, do, do you know what? Do you know what? But I like to think by then I'll have a bit of a repertoire and know a little bit more, and think, you know what? I'm ready. I want to go to firefight against all that and give it a go. You know what Listen, I mean, mate? If you can hold your own against somebody like Fraser Clark, Max. If you, if you could go six rounds with him in a six rounder after you've had seven or eight fights, I'd be impressed. You might not win it. I hope you do. Touch wood, you don't get hurt and then you get home safe to your family, but your daughter, daughter Olive, and that. But I'd be proud of you, mate. I'd be, I said, you know what? That's my mate in, over there. Yeah. Him over there on his hands and knees looking for his gum shield. <laughs> <laughs> but right. I just, you know what? Do you know what, Russ? I just think what Julian's 
know what Julian's doing with me and seeing how he's he's like, you know, putting my like you know, artillery together. I mean, he's working. He's not too concerned about my offence. He's on about my defence. My defence is non-existent. But yeah. now it's brushing up and he sees bits of it coming together. And some com- we're, we're talking about <clears throat> next now because because the heavyweights are hard to spar against or find to spar against. The, the, it's so far in between. Um, I'm organising a, a spa, like sort of spa to other lads him to come and have a look at me and see what I am like in sparring now. So that's where we're at. Because he, he's really intrigued now. Because he's, I don't think Julian's ever had a heavyweight. He's, he's well, sort of excited. Well, listen, mate, if you get a, if, listen, you might end up getting yourself into a position and you might rekindle Julian's love for the game because this with Gary yeah. Sides, because him and Gary Sides are like father and son, mate, and like that. Yeah. It's knocked him bandy, mate. It's knocked him sideways and it's knocked stuff in Ireland and it's knocked his, his love for the sport. And if you can yeah. rekindle that and him coming on Porky's Corner can get, get Julian to fall back in love with sport, with, with the sport. <coughs> Isn't that a good thing, Max? Of course it is. Yeah, it's a good thing. Well, you've got to put the effort in, haven't you? Obviously, you're not well today, so Julian's giving you a pass, but I don't want you to let him down tomorrow. No, I'm not. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okie dokie, then. Well, listen, we've had two hours nearly. They've had a good good video here. So I think what I might do, I think what I might do, because I've I've spoiled some of this this week, I might split this into two, Max. I'll send it to Cameron. We'll split it. Well, we'll split it into two, and uh, you know they can have a part one and a part two. We'll see if we'll see if people are interested in seeing the part two because we can play. We can play play a little bit about with it and that and stuff like that. And, can you put uh, Spencer Fear in at Fear Bank with Danny Connor? Like, put the heads is that what you want? I'll, I'll yeah, that, I'd love it. that. I'd love that. Like I don't know, or like some aid shelter, or something like that, aid or something. Yeah, you know I mean, Spencer Fearon at the food bank. What you could do is put tight, ty- put some like Tyan's booth at like serving it out. No, yeah, we can't do that. It's like insulting, isn't it? I, I, I don't want to antagonize him enough. I've already terrorized him enough as it is. He's frightened to death of me now. Oh, yeah. hey, Spencer, I know you're frightened to death of me, mate, but. You don't have to walk around Lambeth North, mate, with a bulletproof vest on. I'm not going to come and shoot you, mate. I'm not a gangster. So, yeah, he's frightened to death of me, mate. Terrified of me. <laughs> he, he don't even give me a second thought. Look at that. Five goes at it and five misses. Not and five. Great. Okie dokie then, Max. Right. I love, love you and leave you, Max. I hope you will. Uh, have a good yeah. evening. Uh, what's on the agenda for tonight? You're going to get your head down. Hot bath. Yeah, a bit. Bed. bed. We'll get an hot so, bath, get a lem sip down, yeah? And before you get in bed, drink a cup of hot kettle water. It'll settle all your da- all, all your stomach down inside. That's what Chinese do. That's why they live to be 100. A cup of hot kettle water, settle you down, and go to sleep, Max. Okay? All right, man. You take care. Right. Peace out. See you, mate. Right. Well, that were Max. Uh, out of a bread crumb, he's a lovely kid, isn't he, Max? Uh, I've got a soft spot for him. Uh, but uh, let's hope that, like I've just said there, that Julian rekindles his love for the sport of boxing. And if you could do that with Max, that's brilliant. He's never had an heavyweight. Uh, it doesn't matter that Max is not fighting Joshua's this world, and that if Julian can get out there and they can get some wins together and just do what I always say. And I got this saying off Dennis Hobson. Dennis always used to say to me, do you know what, Russ? Let's just create some memories, eh? And that's what it's about, isn't it? If Max and Julian, and even me, I might even go to a few Max's fights if I get a chance, if I get a ticket. If you can create memories, that's not bad, isn't it? Because we're not all going to be here forever. And judging by how some of these reports are coming back from camera that, that I've had down this summer, I don't think I'm going to be here much longer, to be honest. So, trust me, it's not good. But listen, just create memories. And uh, let's all hold hands and sing We Are The World and rejoice. I think John Fury said that, didn't he, other month, didn't he? He wants to heal the world, you know. Jesus. But now, listen, it's about creating memories, isn't it? Especially in boxing. And if Max can... 
have 10 fights and win seven and probably get knocked out in other three or summer, but get a few wins on his under his belt, get a few quid in his pocket so it's not costing him. And enjoy his son and get his son out there and Julian can fall in love with sport again. And we can have Max on the channel and all have a laugh. Isn't that a good thing? So there's all this Twitter nonsense or whatever it's called. Troll nonsense. So all right then. Well listen. I'm gonna send this to camera and I'll get him to split it in half. Okie doke. Peace out. Big shout out to Eastwood Autos next door. They've got a uh, they've got a spring sale on. Got there must be seven or eight VW Tiguans low mileage on age 13 plates to 17 plates. We've got BMWs. There's about 160 cars. I've never seen cars so cheap in my life, all low mileages as well. So if you live in the South Yorkshire area and you're interested in the car, get to Eastwood Autos. It's next door here. Okie dokie, and come and see your Uncle Porky for a couple while you're at it. I'm not hard to find. Peace out.